What is going on guys, it is Bear here, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial for New Year's, and this is going to be my intro tutorial. This is going to be part 1, which is the Cinema 4D part. After Effects part will come out tomorrow, or one, yeah, probably tomorrow when I can go home and do it. I'm going to a party after this, so I'm going to try to get this done quickly. Probably about 20 minute tutorial, so I'll get this under, like, probably under 30 minutes for you guys, so... We're just going to watch the intro that I'm going to be trying to show you guys. It's not going to be the exact kind, because I'm using a different logo. But I'm going to be trying to show you guys like what it is, so just sit back and watch this. Alright guys, so that you guys have seen that intro, what it actually is, we're going to be uh, showing you, is how just to have the, the cool uh, text come in. And then I'm going to have the impact, and then we're going to have it wait a little bit, then the text will come up. So, what you're going to want to do is go in the description and download this Lightroom I'm going to have a download link, it's going to be a Mediafire link, so once you download that, you're going to have all of these mats, and we're going to be going to the Acres mats, which are these. I don't know how to make them, I don't know what they're made out of, but they look cool, and they do what I want them to do. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is open our .ai of our logo. If you guys don't have that, um, I'll do a tutorial on that probably soon after the tutorial, after these tutorials, but um, I'm just going to have that if you guys usually are gfx or like you design or edit they usually give you the .ai and the download link but this is i'm gonna make a tutorial how to do that later but we're gonna need that so what we're gonna go is file merge and then merge our uh, .ai our logo take the move tool and just drag it into the center at least as close as you can possibly make it a little smaller and then just like try to center it all right, so what we're gonna do is open our uh, open our logo, and we're gonna take our two paths and drag it out, and then delete it. So we have the two paths. Go to the green circle inside of a box. Go to extrude nerves. Control C, Control V. Drag the first path onto the first one. Second path onto the second. Highlight both. Go to mode object object, and then go to 60 centimeters on the last one. Hit Control C, Control. Roll C, Control V, so you can duplicate it. Go to fillet caps on both, so you go to mode, ob or go to mode caps, fillet cap, fillet cap, and then go to the radius of three on each. So next, we're gonna do is take this blue mat, uh, the Acris blue, not the light blue. You can use any color you want. Um, I'm gonna be doing blue, so I can take that, put that there, and put that there, and we're gonna take this and drag it behind the logo. Just like that. All right, we're gonna take the next two. We're gonna take this uh, the white and drag it onto both of these, and we can just see in this angle and render it. See how it looks. So it looks pretty good. So we're gonna take this uh, moving tool back, and we're just gonna go over here. All right, it's kind of center, I guess. And uh, there we go. I'm getting OCD about this. And we're gonna take this. Uh, we're gonna match up the left sides and the right sides. So we're gonna take the the left side and we're gonna take this left side. Drag these together. So you have the right sides together and then the left sides together. You're gonna take them. Hit Alt G on both of them. And you can rename these. I'll rename this L for left, R for right. If you have a different path, just try to work with me with this. But um, this is pretty much what you're doing. So now that you have this, you should have uh, your whole bottom bar right here. If you guys know what this is, this is so we can do like the whole logo or the whole intro. We're gonna take this and we're gonna make it uh, seven seconds long and just drag that out. And we're gonna go to uh, four seconds into the video and we're gonna highlight both the R and the L. And we're gonna hit this. It's called auto key for auto, auto key framing, auto keying. I don't know. You're gonna click that so it puts a red box around your whole thing and you're gonna click the record active objects which is the key so you're gonna click that and it creates a little blue square right here and this is how you have you're like this is where at four seconds your intro is gonna be in this exact same spot so you're just gonna click out of the auto keying and we're gonna drag all the way down to uh, zero go to the L and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 1360 and then we're gonna dip it forward. 
or 45 degrees, and then we're gonna drag to our bottom left. We're gonna take the one on the right side, do a 360 with this, and dip it backwards, 45 degrees, and then drag it to our top right. So now at zero seconds, these are in this this right here. So what we're gonna do is take the R and the L, highlight both, click the auto keying, and then click the little key. And you see it creates this, these lines, and you're like, all right, what does it do? So it's just gonna bring these two in that position at zero seconds. So we can just click this little play button to watch. So as you see, it comes that close. And what you can do with this is if you don't like how slow it goes, you can just make it go faster. So, you can just have it really fast, really slow. This is at like 1.8 seconds long, so. So you can have it really fast. I prefer mine to be about 4 seconds, like 3.54, maybe even 3. I'll try 3. Yeah, three seconds is good, so we can just drag that to three seconds, and then we have this done. So, next part we're gonna do is we're just gonna, at, like, right after three, like 3.04, take these, hit the auto keying, hit the keyframe, and then, like, declick that, and then we're gonna go ahead, like, maybe, like, a four seconds in. Hit the auto keying, highlight both, and just kind of, like, dip this. Click the keyframe, and then we're gonna go another second in, and just make it back to where we want it. So I just like try to make that even as possible, and then we're just gonna click it again. So it comes together, it smashes together, and then it just dips a little bit. And then once it like it's dipping here, the screen's gonna go black, and so it's gonna show our name, and then go away. So we can just click the play button, rewatch it. So these spin in, they're gonna smash together, and it's gonna dip a little bit, and then the, our name's gonna play out. So this is Cinema 4D part. It's kind of easy actually. How long did it take? It took seven minutes to do Cinema 4D intro. Seven minutes. So uh, what we're gonna do next, you have to render it. So you're gonna click up here in the top right, go to render settings, make sure your output's on seven or 1280 by 720. Go to save, and you can just save this called uh, intro. Make sure it's on alpha channel. QuickTime movies, what I like to use. Uh, all these don't really matter. You can just click them, look at them. But uh, make sure when you go to output, all frames are clicked. And then we're just gonna hit the X the box, and then we're just gonna render it. So this is a Cinema 4D part. This is probably the part that takes the longest is rendering. So I'll be back once this is done rendering, and I'll show you guys what we came up with. And then the After Effects part will come up in the, the tutorial um, tomorrow once I can come home and do it. So I'll be back in like five minutes, guys, for you, probably a millisecond. So I'll be right back. What is going on, guys? I am back, and the intro is completed, the raw version at least. So I'm just going to take that and minimize Cinema 4D, and then we're just going to open it up, the QuickTime movie of the raw intro, and just play it. So... As you see, it just comes together, then it just like, glances back, so we can just take that and just look at it. So, it comes in from the top right and bottom left, and then it spins, and then just like slams together. So what we're going to be able to do is like slow it down here, so it's like that, and then it just slams together, and then it just slowly dips back. And then it goes up to our, where we want it to. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Cinema 4D part of this tutorial. The raw kind of looks different, but we, we can just picture what we want to use. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, 9 minutes and 16 seconds. I said 30 minutes. I got this done in 10 minutes. So uh, this is actually really easy. Obviously for you guys it's going to take a little longer. But um, for the first time it took me about an hour to figure out how to do. But um, uh, this is how you do a Cinema 4D intro. This is a basic intro. It's the intros that I do. Since uh, people like them. They're really clean. So um... I don't know, I'm just like, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this whole tutorial. If you guys did not enjoy this, please leave a comment of why and what I should do better. Um, the Lightroom is in the description. How to get Cinema 4D is in the description. Uh, that's about it. That's all you guys really need. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm also going to leave my uh, 
my dot cinema 4d file of just this so you guys can like check it out and see like, how everything works out other than that guys i hope you really enjoy this video please leave a like and comment also if you want to subscribe to my channel for 600 i might do something i didn't do anything for 500 i'm sorry for that but uh, hopefully i can get 600 by by the 10th that would be really awesome so i hope you guys enjoy this video uh please like and comment and i'll see you tomorrow with my after effects tutorial peace out guys